Hey guys, Job here, your local island real estate agent working with KW Belize. And today we have a special video for you. We are going to be talking about um, bank financing here in Belize. Now, bank financing is available in the country via Key International Bank. It is the only international bank currently established in San Pedro and in Belize. They offer financing for foreign investors that are wanting to be able to purchase in Belize. So if you're looking for financing options, apart from the seller financing options we had mentioned on our previous video, you want to stick around and find out. So come along with me. All right, guys, so we're at the Key Bank headquarters in Coconut Drive here in San Pedro, and we are with Mr. Guillermo Rodriguez. He is the loans manager here at the bank. He will take us through this process to fully understand what you need before you come and apply and reach out to them. So, Mr. Rodriguez, what can we expect of this video today? Sure, so what we're looking to establish today is to uh, get uh, our viewers familiarized with the process of applying for financing with key international banks, our do's and our don'ts, and just get you started with investing in real estate in Belize. All right, so let, 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 let's sit down and let's talk a little bit more about who KeyBank uh, is as, a, as an organization, as a, an institution, and a little bit more about what KeyBank is about. Sure. So we as a Key International Bank, we, we are pretty much a, an international bank here in, uh, located in San Pedro. And in 1996, our founders, uh, Joel Nagel and Mike Cobb, they saw a need in, in the market, which is just to provide financing for foreigners looking to buy uh, real estate in Belize. So they started a mortgage company that was in 1996. And in 2003, they received the, their Class A unrestricted license from the uh, international banking license from the Central Bank of Belize. So since then we've been offering uh, much more financial services that will be a whether it's a demand deposit account, savings account, what we do offer also uh, a debit card program. We do have it, services for international wire transfers. We do have um, our gold loan program and of course we have uh, financing for real estate purchases in Belize as well as other countries such as Nicaragua, Costa Rica and Panama. Okay, great. All right then. All right guys, so now we're going to move on to um, the very important factors you must consider when having and reaching out for a loan at Key International Bank. All right guys, so before we continue moving forward, there are some important considerations that you must take into account um, and one of them the first one is that key bank um, doesn't make loans to purchase raw land unfortunately that's not the case they do make loans for pre-construction opportunities for you to build on an already existing uh, property right for example if I own a property I'm a non-resident that's also a very important um, thing to remember they only make loans for non-residents so if I'm a non-resident that already owns a property here in Belize I can reach out to you guys to make a loan to build on my property right yes we do construction loans as well okay yes great another thing to consider is that they um, loan up to 50% of the loan value and that does not include the closing costs or any purchasing costs that come along with the purchasing of property here in Belize. Generally, loans on wooden homes would be a case-by-case -case basis and to finish off, for pre-construction condominium complexes, the loan, the purchasing side not the developer side of the real estate transaction so with these in mind we will move forward to step one of the four steps in order to be able to get yourself approved by key bank all right guys so 
Step one is the initial contact with Mr. Guillermo and his team. And that includes um, being able to meet with him and he'll explain more about that. Sure. So the very first part is actually getting to know exactly what you're looking for and if it's something that we can help with. And I do think that's the, the very first and most important step. Um, so we can either meet by a phone call, we can either meet through a conference call, that's Zoom or any other application uh, that, that uh, the client would prefer. Uh, if they're in Belize, they can come in here in person, but that's not necessarily um, that they have to be here in Belize. That's one of the advantages also of KeyBank that we can do uh, most of the process remotely. So uh, what we would go over is, you know, what is the property that you're looking to, to finance? Is it something feasible that we can do? And from there, we would carry on with the actual um, terms of the loan. And once we uh, take a look at the terms of the loan, then we would give all the the application forms and, and make sure everything goes well. All right, great. Yeah. So from start to finish, um, Mr. Guillermo, what is the timeline looking at uh, it, it in usual from the shortest to the longest possible time that it could take to get pre-approved? Sure, so it, it all depends really uh, if uh, the client would have all of their documentation ready. The process would usually take somewhere around a month on average. Uh, it, it can be shorter if they do have all of their documentation ready. And the same way, if they don't have their documentation ready, it can take a little longer as well. Okay, mm -hmm. great. And like back in the, um, back home, usually in the US or in Canada, where most of our clients come from, they have the ability to be pre-approved. Is that a thing that the Key International also offers? So while it is not the exact same approval process of what clients would be used to, what we can do in that case is that clients can send in all of their uh, information and get everything ready so that once they are looking for um, a, a project, a very specific project, they tell us, hey, what about this project? Do you think we can do this? And we would um, say, you know, this, we can do this and, you know, just make the process a lot faster that way. Okay, so what I'm saying, so what you're saying is uh, we can have the initial contact, you can have the due diligence from them in file and everything ready so that when, for example, because a lot of um, investors come down and they want to see the different options that are in the market and whenever they've been able to, you can kind of start the process with them in that in that phase, but it's not until that they've narrowed down the uh, specific property that they want to move forward, can right. they come to you and then go ahead and, and you guys can get the pre the, the approval done on, on behalf of them, right? That's correct. That's correct. Okay. We, we but it does make a world of a difference if they reach out to you before time and they send in all their documentation, start the process going and then send the property, right? Very much so, very much so. It does make the process a lot more faster. All right, great. Uh, how about the uh, terms and conditions of, of the availability of the loans that you guys make here? Sure, so our terms, pretty much what we do is that we try to uh, make things as, as uh, best for, for our clients. So we do offer 10 year uh, terms, uh, this, that will be the maximum um, term for our loans but we can amortize anywhere from 10 to 30 years just for lower monthly payments that depends all on the on the client's actual finances but let's say if they're they choose an amortization uh, greater than the actual uh, than the actual 10 years then they would have a balloon payment due on year 10 so year 10 is pretty much the maximum that we would offer and amortization that's anywhere from 10 to 30 years is there any um prepayment penalties? So after the first year, there's no prepayment penalty, and that's also one of the benefits of Key International Bank, that you can pay off your loan, you can pay down your loan anytime after year one. One year, okay. Without great. any, without any uh, penalties to that. Okay, great, Th that's good. And how about um, additional costs of the loan? How about the uh, loan processing fee? Is there a loan processing fee? Sure, we do have a loan processing fee of 1.87 five percent of the loan one point eight seven five percent of the yeah. loan yeah that's correct it's quite a few digits there but that's the loan processing fee one point eight seven five percent uh there's also um 
the, the we would have to open an account as well and there's also a, a process there that I'm sure we might be seeing in a in a uh, different video in a future video yeah. so stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe to subscribe to me to get get yes. in get that video first all right so since you mentioned the bank account let's get in a bit into it what is the fee like to open a bank account with you guys sure so to open a bank account with key international bank we would ask for a thousand dollar minimum deposit and there is a 100 dollars application fee and for u.s residents only there is a fatca fee which is a one-time 250 dollars fee for that okay so, all right yeah. pretty straightforward great so that includes the step one which is the initial contact with the bank now we are going to be discussing a little bit more about the step two which is the in-depth uh, documentations required uh, by KeyBank to be able to have the loan uh, process uh, started. So now we're moving to step two, which is the providing of the required documentation. And uh, so give us a bit of a breakdown of what um, a possible buyer has to provide to you guys. Sure. So, you know, once we have uh, established the terms of the, of the loan, we would go through the required documentation and the very first of them is a colored copy of your passport and if you're here physically then that would be best but most people they're you know the, it's uh it's done digitally so we would have to take a notarized color copy of your passport in that case um, then we would need a proof of address that's a utility bill or or some proof of address not older than the 90 days, we would need a W-9 form uh, for US residents. We would also need a financial reference letter. That reference letter is from a bank, from an accountant, an attorney, denoting two years of relationship. Then we would uh, go with the actual loan uh, application forms, which would be uh, the loan application form, the account application forms, I could I provide all of that through email or in person or whatever way works best for the client. Uh, then there are other two forms which are statement of affairs and monthly budgets just to take a look at their financials. We would need two years of tax returns, uh, three to six months of bank statements. Uh, in this case, um, or in most cases, they're purchasing a property so we would need a sales agreement as well. And then a, in most cases, we would also ask for an appraisal of the property itself. Okay, let me let me let me get into the appraisal of the property. Uh, does that include, let's say, for example, for a lot of buyers that are coming here wanting to buy something that ha is already built, uh, like a condominium or a home? Does that also include for the appraisal, or, or to do an appraisal on something already established, built? In, in most cases, we would ask for an appraisal. You would ask yes. for an appraisal. All right, yes. great. All right, no problem. And uh, again we as your uh, buyer's agents, we would be able to get you connected with the people that would be able to do that for you. That's correct. So th sometimes uh, there are companies involved in, in real estate. Sometimes uh, people would want to buy property as an LLC. In that case, they would also have to provide their uh, set or, or full company documents as well for just for verification purposes. All right, quick. All right, guys, so step three. Step three comes when we've come down, seen properties, we've narrowed it down, and you are more confident as to which property you're planning to move out forward, and that is the review all stage. Mr. Gamer, give us a little bit more of a background on what happens in this stage. Sure, so on this stage, it's mostly on my part, just to say, because I do uh, make sure that all your documentation is in order, everything is signed where it needs to be, and then I would organize all of those files, prepare what is a credit analysis, uh, just make sure your finances are in order, and then I would present that over to our credit committee for approval. And but that was it's pretty much it. That's step three, which is uh, pretty much on our part, basically. All right, great. So basically what is the case here, guys, is for the real estate perspective and because we've done a deal with uh, Guillermo now what we do is we've narrowed down the property that you guys want to move forward with we place an offer and because you've already started this process with Mr. Guillermo it takes a whole lot less now to get approved completely approved 
and we set in an offer to purchase contingent on the approval of Key Bank to be able to safeguard your deposit. Um, when Key Bank has approved, it reaches step four, but for now, you would be able to put in an offer contingent on Key Bank, like I said, contingent on Key Bank approving you, and then hopefully we will be able to get under contract, and then we would use a sale, we will use that sales contract towards the loan, right? Correct. All right, so that leads us to step four. All right, guys, so step four is when you've already been approved, and there's just a couple more documents that you need to finish off and sign. Uh, bear in mind, these documents now at this point are worked out with you and the bank in conjunction with your closing attorney that you've chosen. So, Guillermo, you could give us a little bit more of a background on what those documents are? Sure. The very first three of them would be uh, what we call security documents or just guarantee documents, which one of them would be the offer letter where we denote pretty much the terms of the loan, uh, repayment terms, and uh, just basically every information that has to do with the loan are listed in the offer letter. Then we do have the guarantee document and the promissory note, which pretty much serve the same purpose, which is a guarantee on the client part that they are to pay back that loan. And from there, well, we do also send the client an amortization schedule. All right, guys, so we're in step four which is dispersal and establishing collateral you with you and the bank. At this point, the closing agent that you're using or closing attorney has also been involved into this because there's an offer to purchase already signed. And Mr. Guillermo, so tell us a bit more about what are the finishing documents and process towards getting this completely over the goal. Sure, so the very first documents that we would sign in this stage would be uh, three documents, one of them is, is the offer letter that pretty much states the terms of the loan, uh, the repayment terms, and just pretty much all the information that you would need about the loan itself, uh, all the information that has already been established. So then we would have also the promissory and the guarantee notes as well. Those are other two documents that would need to be signed. And then we would send over the client an amortization schedule, which is just pretty much a schedule of payments. Uh, from there, we would discuss how we would go about the dispersal of the loan itself and then the actual um, title transfer and charge. So that might vary a little bit from, from case to case, but we would go about those processes from there. So that's the entire process for financing with Key International Bank. Real estate is booming in Belize with projects such as hotels, condos and developments just around every corner in places like San Pedro, uh, Plasencia and the Cayo district. Uh, it's now is the time to invest in Belize and Key International Bank is here to assist. And obviously us as your Keller William agents here in Belize would be more than happy and able to assist you identifying the right property and being able to be your representative here along to make sure that we coordinate both your closing agent or attorney with key bank and the sellers and being able to carry you throughout the entire process that you feel comfortable about what you are doing and the process that you are coming into Belize. Again, our information is going to be in the descriptions below. Uh, Mr. Guillermo's personal business information is going to also be in the descriptions below along with his email address, his WhatsApp, and my information as well. If you'd like us to make that introduction to them on your behalf, we'll be more than willing and happy to do so. And thank you for watching. Remember that you hit the like and subscribe button and also the notification button because we are going to make a video about the bank account process more in detail and the for building right for someone who is has right. a property here but wants to build that process is a little bit different you know yes right just a little yeah. so it's it's the same process as this but there's a couple more steps to that one and we will make sure that we make a video to clarify those other additional steps so thank you for watching and have a wonderful afternoon